Okay, so the first time I started playing an instrument, I honestly would never be able to remember exactly when it was, but I was probably the early stages of high school, that's around about where I was in life in terms of timing. Um, yeah, I, basically what happened is I'd always told my parents that I wanted to either play piano or guitar, I do remember this, and um, coastal music had a sale, their typical July sale, and so um, my dad went down and as a surprise got us um, a keyboard, a beginner's keyboard and a beginner's kind of guitar and um, yeah basically I think Mary and I both probably started playing those instruments at around that age. I feel like there have been a lot of moments where I've gone into worship feeling very overwhelmed to the point where you almost feel heavy but I, sometimes I feel like I'm so overwhelmed that I feel like every step I take is like tough and you know I'm just moping around and then you get into worship and honestly it feels like this weight is lifted off me so Every time, I'm sure everyone in church can see me burst into tears at certain points in time. Those are always the most tangible moments where I can feel the presence of God and I can't contain it and I will cry and sing off key and everyone knows. But um, yeah, it's those are the moments where I think God is just revealing certain things about himself to me. And it's often the moments where the lyrics and the songs that we're singing are actually the realization of how powerful they are or what they actually mean is is so it's so real to me in those moments and, and God just he just comes and he just touches me and yeah that's when I that's when I just feel the impact of how how big God is and how great God is and and how important those kinds of songs are and those moments are and just the importance of remembering why we're doing what we're doing and and who we're doing it for. things um, you know um, you think you reach a stage where you know and get to understand how God works and then he, he throws a yardstick at you where you start to learn different things um, the most challenging thing for me was when um, you know I would left when we finished my Bible school and I had to come back to Durban and uh, then, then you face the reality, the reality of life and, and you have to get on with, with what, what you have to do to survive. And in the midst of all those challenges, it was like from Egypt into the wilderness, walking around, but to maintain the worship and the love for God was challenging because now you're exposed to the world and the people of the world and, and the way they operate and the way they think and to try and combine and try to live a life that, 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 that's, that's uh, set aside for God for me was a bit difficult then um, but God with His strength helped through the Holy Spirit taught me and I was able to get through that difficult time the confusing time um, in my life. You must remember, I was still 
very young those days, a teenager, you know, just coming out and, and, and being, um, you know, uh, exposed to the world and, and how people think and work. Um, and you expect them to think like us, but they don't. And you expect the world to be like us, but they don't. But we, you know, um, you get you get disappointments, you get hurt, um, you get promises that people don't keep. But to maintain your relationship with God in the midst of all this is a challenge. But God gives us the strength to see the things through and His presence, His presence there is fullness of joy and just latching onto that scripture uh, in His presence there is fullness of joy has helped me go through all those difficult times. For me, worship is putting God before ourself in whatever situation it is that we are like referring to. So like in anything, like if we put God before us, for me, I see that as an act of worship. Okay, for me, for me, it would be to thank God and to and to put him into your life, like to spend time with him, that would, that would be worship for me. <laughs> okay, so it's having God in your life and trusting in God and putting God first in everything you do. No, see, I just told my answer, you know. Okay, the meaning of worship for me is like, um, it's praising God with, with everything you've got because God is the one that made you and created you, I mean, you know, so you should put God first, obviously, in your life and praise Him. Going to church a million times. <laughs> so for me, worship is like um, a way to connect with God without having to feel formal or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on, Donnell. Okay. Um, worship for me is when you spend time with God and talk to Him. And when you praise Him and just be with Him. So, <laughs> okay, um, the song is uh, There is Power in the Name of Jesus, if you all know it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, like, that song is just, it, it just, it, it just puts me in the zone, you know, in the, in the, in that mood, you know, when you're praising God. Yeah, and yeah, it really gives me peace and I just feel really happy and in a really lovely place. Yeah. So the thing that I love most about worshipping with other people is that um, firstly the, the it's it's incredible to to me in those moments to picture people around the world and around the nation worshiping God together and it just it really just brings to me the realization of how powerful worship actually is of how amazing God actually is that all the people around the world are worshiping together and it, it even just reminds me of how even you know the plants and 
the earth and everything is worshiping God. And, um, yeah, that's the sort of feeling that I get when we're all worshiping together. Um, specifically with music, I'm sure that there are other elements of worship. I'm sure we'll talk about that a little bit later on. But um, specifically when we're worshiping and singing songs together in the building, that's the feeling that I get. Um, that's what I can picture so clearly. And the angels in heaven also worshiping and all of us worshiping together. It's, it's really beautiful.